Y'all hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by y'all. We are headed out in a boot. We got a million things to do today and I tell you what, y'all go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the shenanigans and I will tell y'all what we are up to. Well, as per usual, we are headed to physical therapy. I gotta go get a little tune up, get my things all aligned to see how I did for the week. And then we got a bunch of, ooh, first let me slow down, lest I get a speeding ticket and get us grounded. But then we got a bunch of things to do, y'all, because let me tell you what. <laughs> I was watching my friend's video the other day, and I'm not going to tell you who it was, because I think she watches my videos, and I don't want to hurt her feelings. But she went into a restaurant, and she's like, oh, Danielle inspired me to eat a salad, which made me all happy. Well, then she got this big old thing of ranch dressing and just poured it all over this gorgeous green salad that she got. And y'all, I like to die. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to, like I said, I got to go to PT and then I'm going to check back in with y'all when I leave PT and let y'all know how things are going. But then we're going to go to the house and the huge, you know, I need to I got to do a little more ride and maybe lift some weights or do some stretching or something, depending on how I feel after PT. But y'all, then we're going to sit down and talk about salads because we've been talking for a while about talking about salads and we haven't done it yet. So I want to sit down and have a little chat about what we should be doing and what we should not be doing when we eat a salad. So let's do that. Let me go to PT. I'll check in with y'all after, and then we'll go to the house, talk salads, and then we'll make a salad dressing that will make you want to slap your mama. Now, we've made this dressing together before, but I'm almost out. So I figure we may as well make it together again. So let me go do my PT and get out of this ridiculous sunlight, and I will see y'all. Well, I'll see you after PT and let you know how things are going, all right? So y'all sit tight, and I'll see you in a little while. Y'all, we are headed home. PT is done, and... For the first time in I don't even know how long, my hips were aligned when I got there. So, I mean, I got like pushed and pulled and moved and stuff. And I had a big old knot, big old knot in my thigh. <laughs> Katie worked out, so that was nice. But um, y'all are looking, I don't know where y'all are looking. We'll deal with that later. But anyway, I was not like out of alignment. So that was good. So baby steps. So now I'm headed home. And I'm going to get on the bike because I don't feel awful. So let's do that. Let me go. And you know what I'm going to do? I don't know if I said this before, but I was thinking I need to either stretch or lift some weights. So since I feel pretty good, I think maybe I'm going to lift some weights. So maybe I will kill two birds with one stone. Maybe I will ride some and then lift some weights. And then did I tell y'all it might snow? I know. Ridic. They're saying it might snow some. So get ready for that. I mean, not that there's anything to actually do for it, but I got to like prepare myself mentally for this to happen. So let's go to the house. Let me work out some. Let me slow down because there's a cop sitting there. We go to the house. Let me get ready, get on the bike, do some lifting of the weights. Then we'll talk about making some salads, what we can and can't do or what we need to and don't need to be doing when we eat salads and then we'll make some dressing. I was trying to think, I felt like there was something else I was gonna tell y'all. And now I'm like all out of sorts cause I just saw Johnny Law. So let me get out of here, let me get to the house. I will see y'all back there and I'll tell you whatever it was I was gonna tell you, all right? So I'll see y'all back at the house. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crash it in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah Six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots, all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face
straight to the face. Y'all, did I mention that it might snow? Oh, it's snowing. Check that out. Do not get all excited. We are not hanging out outside in the snow. I just wanted to show you. And now we're going to go inside where it's warm and cozy. So y'all sit tight and I will see you in the house. All right, y'all, we made it inside. <laughs> and I decided to sort of post up on the couch for a bit for a couple of reasons. One, because I caught a bit of a chill out there in the cold. <laughs> and it's nice and warm and cozy here on the couch. And two, look, if we sit on the couch, we can sit with these furry felons. And y'all can see, look, they got their hairs cut. Look, there's considerably less furry felon number one. And there's little furry felon number two. Now, don't get it twisted. They are much less furry, but they are still equally felonious. So we'll see how long this lasts. D little Daisy, oh, can y'all see her? Little Daisy over here. The intern and I have agreed, and I, like I thought this was just in my head, but they got their hair cut. If y'all saw, I did a video that will, so this one will go up, should go up Sunday. I have a video that should go up Friday that I filmed the day they got their hair cut, and that was a couple of days ago. And I swear y'all, Daisy has been much sassier <laughs> since she got her hair cut. Like, I swear she knows that she looks so cute with her little haircut. And I said something to the intern and he's like, yeah, she's been like so much like bouncier and prancier since she got her hair cut. And like, I thought it was just me, but apparently she really does know <laughs> that she looks so cute with her haircut. So she's acting all sassy. Anyway, we are not here to talk about my dogs, y'all. We're here to talk about salads. So I have a list of salad do's and don'ts. And I thought we may as well do it from the couch. Like it's, I mean, it's just a list to talk about. So then we'll go in the kitchen, maybe go through some things. And then did I tell y'all I want to make salad dressing. So let's just, let me stop talking about talking and let's start talking. So when you make a salad and this is how sort of like people who design salads, is that even a thing? But like, if you make <laughs> this felon, getting all up on my microphone like for restaurants when you make a salad for a restaurant or when you like create a salad recipe you think of five things like there are sort of five elements that go into a we're already getting into trouble you lay down and be still five things that go into a well-designed salad they are of course the greens some protein veggies you got to think about the color like what you want in your salad for color and then dressing so those are five things that if you want to make, like y'all, I will throw just about anything in a bowl and eat it as a salad. I don't care. But like if I'm making a salad that I'm trying to get somebody that's maybe not quite such a salad fan, like maybe the intern to eat, I do try to think about these things. And we're gonna go through a bunch of do's and a few don'ts, but like things that maybe you wanna add so that if the person isn't going to eat the lettuce base that you put, or if you maybe will get bored with your own lettuce base, what other things do you want to have in the salad so that it's still filling and nutritious and like you don't walk away from it being hungry, even if you don't eat all of the lettuce or whatever, like all of the base. Cause y'all, this is gonna sound ridiculous, but eating salad can be exhausting. Takes a while to eat a salad. So maybe halfway through you just get bored and you're like, oh, seriously, I cannot eat for a single second longer. Well, before you hit that point, you want to have eaten enough that you're satiated, right? That you don't walk away from the salad being hungry. Cause y'all, that's what makes people not wanna eat salads. So let's talk about things that we can do to make our salads better. One, y'all know my number one, add protein. So we talk all the time about, now here's where I kind of wish I hadn't been lazy and gone in the kitchen because we could look at these things because I have many of them in my fridge. But things like I keep the chicken in a bag, like that pre-cooked chicken. This is one of my like big time, like ways that I defend to myself, keeping that pre-cooked chicken around. Y'all, it is the easiest thing to make a salad with this stuff because I of course do the pre-mixed, like this that spring mix salad mix that comes in a big old tub throw that in a green bag and then just grab a handful of that throw in some of that pre-cooked chicken maybe a little carrots little cucumbers throw some dressing on it and bob's your uncle i have a filling salad so protein so like chicken shrimp any of those kind of things y'all know i love me an okay i was debating with myself before is an avocado a fruit it has to be a fruit right so that should go under our fruit category which we'll get to later but it's also a good source of protein 
right? I love avocado and chicken in a can, which if you're not going to have chicken in a bag, keep chicken in a can around. That's probably a better option. I don't know what it is ounce per ounce cost wise, but I think it's probably cheaper. Super easy. I just drain, like the intern brings me the big cans from the Sam's Club. I just drain that, throw it in a bowl, throw in some avocado, mush it up. And I don't even put anything like ranch dressing or like the ranch dip or anything in that. Just eat that straight because the avocado gives it enough moisture. Now, even though you have to count points for the avocado, I don't even care because it's so good. So I'll throw that in my mixed greens with whatever else I'm using. Sometimes I'll use dressing. Sometimes I'll eat that without even any dressing because the avocado adds so much moisture to it that I don't even have to bother with a dressing. So that makes it even more worth the points for the avocado. So protein, huge in salad, makes it more filling, makes it for, for the interns in your life. So people who aren't necessarily salad folks, it makes it feel like more of a meal. Y'all, let me tell you a story. And I'm going to, don't be like, Danielle, don't be talking about your friends behind their backs. I'm going to send this a link to this video to this friend. My friend Starsky, I have been on this man for ages to eat a dang salad. And he went to a barbecue place the other day and did a Facebook live from there and taunted me about how he wasn't going to eat a salad. Now, his stubborn self could have gotten a salad there with, they do the barbecue meat on the salad, not like with the barbecue sauce, but like they're pulled pork, they're pulled, you know, whatever meat on the salad. That's a great option, and here's why. Starsky needs to eat a dang salad. Now, can I get Starsky to eat a, like a green salad with cucumber and carrots and a lean protein in it? Probably not. But would I be able to get him to eat a salad with some barbecue meat on it? Quite possibly. And is that salad with barbecue meat on it as healthy as the salad with the grilled chicken? No, absolutely not. But is it better than eating a pulled pork sandwich and some French fries and some Brunswick stew like his big self did the other day? Yes. So we've talked about this before, harm reduction, right? Like you can't, it's not about perfection. It's about progress. So if what you eat is better than what you ate yesterday, right? Like what you eat today is better than what you ate yesterday. And if you put some greens, some salad, some veggies, some fruit with what you're gonna eat and you take out something unhealthy, that's progress, that is harm reduction. So Starsky, take yourself to Cowboys and get you a salad. And y'all, I'm 100% gonna send my friend this video so y'all quit it out. I'm not talking about him behind his back. So protein, add protein to your salad because it will make it more filling, more satiating, and it will, satiating? Yes. And it will help level out your blood sugar and it'll keep you full longer. Y'all know we add protein to everything. Another option, along with your protein, and was it our last video? We yeah, yeah, it was. We talked about subs for white rice and white pasta. Well, we can add some of those subs to salads. Think about adding some high fiber options like quinoa, or maybe a whole wheat couscous. We talked about these last week when we talked about subs for white rice and white pasta. Quinoa is a seed, right? And I, we talked about it has protein. Well, y'all, quinoa is a perfect protein because it has the nine, is it nine? Nine essential amino acids, whatever it is. It's a, who don't like a perfect protein? So think about adding quinoa or whole wheat couscous to your salads. Now those will add either quinoa or the couscous will add an interesting texture and either a nutty or like an earthy taste to your salad. Remember, we don't call it, we don't say it tastes like dirt. Either a nutty or an earthy flavor, depending on what you decide to add. And it's gonna add fiber. Now, it's gonna add some points. So just, just keep up with your points, check the points that you're adding. But again, it's gonna be super filling. So think about if it's worth those points for you. You can also, for adding fiber, think about adding some bran, like sprinkle some bran on the top to get you some crunch or some of the fruits, and, and we're gonna to get to fruit, so y'all calm down, but some of the fruits and veg that you can add to your salad, if you leave the skins on, that's gonna add some fiber too, like apples. I always eat skins on my apples, but maybe if you're putting it in your salad, you're gonna to wanna to peel it. Leave the skins on, it's gonna give you some fiber. Cucumbers, 
I'm not a big skin on cucumber person, but maybe I'll work on that. Or maybe peaches, those kinds of fruits, leave the skins on and get you some fiber. Now, are y'all like, dude, who puts fruit in their salad? It's delish. If you don't do it, just mess around with it. Experiment with different flavors. Now, I wouldn't, if you've never done it before, I wouldn't necessarily say go and dump like, cut up a whole apple and dump it in your salad or like throw in a handful of raisins or something. But, you know, maybe have a cut up apple and have a bite of apple with a bite of your salad. I love apple in a salad. I love, raisins have a little more sugar, so they have a little more points, but they're really good. So like really good in a salad. Not that y'all don't know what a raisin tastes like, but those are good in a salad. Nuts are great in a salad. I like seeds too, like maybe um, sunflower seeds or sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, whatever kind of seeds you have laying around. And y'all, I know I keep saying, check your points. Y'all know to check your points, but just check your points. But yeah, seeds, they'll add a crunch. You know what I did? Y'all know I did this one time is remember we did chickpeas in the air fryer, just like I dried them. And did I put a little bit of olive oil on them and seasoned them, threw them in the air fryer basket, air fried them at 350 or 400 till they got crispy. And they were just like little balls of crispiness, zero points, fantastic. Like they were really good in a salad. And I was buying the ones in the store that have points. But if you do them, like open up a can and just throw them in your air fryer, there are no points there. So that was good. Now they didn't hold up long, although I didn't really preserve them well. I think I just left them sitting in a bowl on the counter. So <laughs> they don't hold up well in a bowl on the counter for long, but they were very good as like little crunchy bits in a salad because, well, we'll get to a don't in a minute, but yeah, there's a black squirrel flying across my yard right now. Um, I don't think he's enjoying the snow. So fruits, nuts, berry, no, not berries, fruits, nuts, seeds, berries, berries would be good. Think about the greens you're eating too. I do, y'all know I do spring mix and I don't know if I'm picky. I don't think I'm picky about my greens. I like, I like the ones I like, but I don't necessarily hate other ones, except I guess I kind of do. There are some, I mean, I'll eat them, but I don't love like the spring mix in a lot of different places but maybe try different greens and find ones that you like. Like I love, is it butter lettuce? I love butter lettuce. I'm not even gonna lie y'all, I love iceberg lettuce, but I know that it has like, iceberg lettuce doesn't have no nutritional value. It has negative nutritional value, which I learned when I had a turtle, I had a tortoise, and you could not like, you're not allowed to feed your tortoise iceberg lettuce because one, it's like crack for a tortoise. Like they like it so much that they'll get to where that's all they'll eat and they will starve to death no matter how much iceberg lettuce you feed them because there is so no nutritional value in iceberg lettuce that an animal can eat it and starve to death. So y'all don't be eating iceberg lettuce. Well, I mean, at least don't eat it like for your salad. You can throw it on a hamburger or something. Or like you can throw it on a sandwich if you're not, like if it's not the base of like a whole meal, but y'all you know, just get away from the iceberg lettuce. I'm sure there are probably, actually no, I'm not. Let me, let us know in the comments, is there any other lettuce that is as devoid of nutritional value as iceberg? I don't, there might be, I don't know, let us know. Anyway, let me move on. So think about your greens, try some different greens, find something you like and y'all for the love of all that's holy, y'all know this is what got me started on this whole kick is dressing. You can kill a salad with a dressing. Now, one, mind your portions. Please measure your dressing because however much you think you're putting on, if you're free pouring, you may well be using more than you think you are. So measure the dressing that you're putting on. And you don't have to have zero point dressing. Frankly, you can have a big old fat dressing if you want, but measure it and know what you're eating. And again, harm reduction, right? If you're having a healthy salad with an unhealthy dressing, that's better than an unhealthy salad with an unhealthy dressing, or it's better than a hamburger dipped in an unhealthy dressing. So if you're improving your eating, and you're still eating a full fat ranch dressing, God bless you, first of all, because oh my word, is that stuff delicious. But if you're improving your eating and you're still eating a full fat ranch dressing, it's okay, you're doing better. I'm just suggesting that that's somewhere where you can make gains. There are, so, I believe there are some very good 
health, I don't know, or is dressing healthy? There are some very good dressings that are not high in fat and not high in calories. We're going to make our buttermilk dressing <laughs> once I get up off this couch because y'all, I have my heating pad on. Can y'all hear this little felon? There's a felon snoring right here. There's a felon snoring over here. The fireplace is on. The snow is falling. So we'll get up at some point and make us some dressing. But I will, the dressing that we're going to make, I don't know that everybody will love it. I Honestly, I don't love it. I like it. I don't love it. It's a little bit sweet for me. And I could mess around with the recipe and make it less sweet. But, and we'll talk about it when I make it. I don't know why I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's zero points for one tablespoon. And I say that it's one point for two tablespoons. You might could get away with zero points for two tablespoons, but I don't eat two tablespoons of it. I eat one tablespoon of my dressing and one tablespoon of Hidden Valley Ranch dressing, the light one. So that's one point. So it's one point for the two tablespoons of dressing. And y'all, that's case in point right there. I could do better, right? I could do the... Hidden Valley Ranch fat-free, which is zero points, and my zero-point dressing, but I like the light dressing better, and I just count the points. So anyway, be mindful of your dressings. Think about maybe try a vinaigrette. A lot of times you can find light vinaigrettes. There are zero-point vinaigrettes that are very tasty. I often, like I like a creamy dressing mixed with an oil Base dressing, so like a creamy dressing and like a light or a fat-free oil dressing, very delicious. But just be mindful of what you're putting on your salad and measure your dressing. Because again, I mean, I don't know you. I'm not eating with you. But I just have a feeling that if you're free pouring, you're getting more than you think you are. So measure. All right, so those are our do's. Let's do a couple of don'ts. And then I'm going to do a don't sit there and lecture your friends all day. And we're going to get in the kitchen and make some stuff. So wait, let me make sure that's my whole do list. That was my whole do. Y'all, my don't list is super short. We already talked about dressings. Don't try to avoid going full fat dressing. Now, if it's the only way you can make yourself eat a salad, then go full fat dressing and just try to eventually work your way back or maybe do like a full fat and mix it with a light of the same kind. Just mix them together. Do half and half. So try to maybe cut your fat a little. So be mindful of the dressing, y'all. Cheese. Don't choke out your salad with cheese. Can you have a little bit of cheese? Yes. Can you maybe use a fat-free cheese? Yeah. I don't know if I would love fat-free cheese on a salad, but yeah, you do you. Can you use regular cheese and just count it and just use a normal human-sized portion? Yes. But don't just don't choke again. Measure. Because... That's one of those I have a feeling if you're just like free pouring your cheese, you might be getting more than you think you are. So get you one of those. So the intern has had a, a like an ounce of scale that I stole from him that I just, I shouldn't even make this joke because it's so inappropriate, but I joke that it's his drug scale, which it was not. But get you one of those where it measures ounces and just keep it in your kitchen, y'all. I use mine. Oh, okay. I use the intern's mine that I stole. I have squatters rights on it now, so it's mine. I use mine all the time. But you can just easily measure your cheese. And even if you want like a whole handful of cheese, get you that handful of cheese and just count the points. So don't choke your healthy salad out with cheese. Oh, for heaven's sake, y'all. Avoid. I'm <laughs> so dramatic. Croutons. Croutons are like just floating blobs of fat and salt. Please, if you can, avoid store-bought croutons. You can take a slice, and I don't do croutons at all, but if you must, if you insist, get you a slice of that Sara Lee Delightful bread, cut it up and make your own croutons. Don't do store-bought croutons and do not do store-bought bacon bits. They're just, it's just salt and yuckiness. If you want bacon, get you some bacon, cut it up and have real bacon. It's protein, it's one point per like stick of bacon. So, and it's bacon. So if you can, just avoid those store-bought sort of, I almost said false things. They're not false, they're just artificial. Like bacon bits or like smoke-flavored salty chunks of soy. Don't eat that, you're better than that. Um, if y'all could see some of the trash I eat. Anyway, so let's avoid croutons and bacon bits and you can just do the um, chickpeas, right? Toast you up some chickpeas. Throw it on your salad, Bob's your uncle, you're good. Speaking of salads, I realize that not everybody works at the house all day with their furry, their less furry but still felons. 
I know that you have to be out in the world and sometimes you got to just grab and go. And it's probably better to grab and go a grab and go salad than a grab and go ham and cheese sandwich, right? Try not to depend on those grab and go salads all the time. Because a lot of times there's a lot of added fat and carbs and just stuff you don't want in your salad in those grab and go salads. So if it's an option, obviously make your own and take it with. Or if you have to like run and get something somewhere, again, if it's an option, maybe get you a bag of salad mix and some kind of like meat and a little thing of dressing. Because I think a lot of times you can get like the little, like the little like prepackaged dressing, right? Like you can, like you get at a restaurant. So if it's an option, maybe think about trying to do those things for yourself, like to set yourself up to have a healthier, you know, lunch, dinner, whatever it is that you're having to eat on the go. Now, if you got to do a grab and go, grab you a salad and just go. I'm just trying to make some suggestions to maybe make those things more healthy if you have the option to make these other choices. So grab and goes. And we talked about color, right? Y'all make your salads, make it pretty. Don't make monochromatic salads. Now, again, I don't care what my salads look like. I will throw anything in a bowl and eat it as long as it's yummy. And it doesn't even really have to be all that, that yummy, depending on how hungry I am. But this felon's getting sick of me. If you're trying to make, especially like if you're making a salad for a dinner party or something, make it pretty, add some color, add some, and add dimension to it, right? Add different layers of stuff. Think about the different textures of what you're putting in it and build it up so that it's pretty. It's not just like flat and all one color and you're like, here's healthy, go on and eat it. So, all right, that's the end of my do and don't salad rant. Let me motivate myself to get up off this couch. I will meet y'all in the kitchen and we're going to make our, did I say fat free before? It's low fat buttermilk salad dressing. So I'll meet y'all in the kitchen and we'll make some dressing. All right, y'all, we made it off the couch. <laughs> so let's make this dressing so that we can get back on the couch. But before we do this, I got to tell y'all two things. One, folks were blowing up my phone while I was over there talking to y'all. And I finally went back and looked at what was going on. Starsky was eating the salad. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> My buddy that I was blowing up for never eating a salad was eating a salad. So I'm going to stick in either a video or a picture here somewhere of my buddy Starsky eating a salad. Steady saying, Danielle, I'm eating a salad, which I thought was so funny now. Much as I predicted, there was some barbecue meat on that salad. And I dare say that was not light dressing but it was much better than what he normally has for lunch. So I am very, very proud of my boy for eating a salad and hopefully he will continue to make better choices. And I got us some new buttermilk because the intern threw away our old container of buttermilk and I kind of got on him and he was like, honey, it was separated. And I said, that, that's just buttermilk. That's how it does. And he was like, um, the bottom half was solid. <laughs> remember last time we made this dressing I said that my buttermilk was getting a little long in the tooth but I was still going to use it and then I was going to throw it away well apparently I never threw it away and so then it got really old so anyway whatever that's not even a real story I mean it really happened but that's not even like a funny story got us some buttermilk so let's get on this hang on let me get us on another camera and I'll be right back all right I think we're at least mostly ready so let's get after this Y'all, this is the simplest dressing. We've made it before. So we're starting with a cup of low-fat buttermilk. <laughs> it's so thick. All right, let me dump that in there. And like I said before, this is zero points for one tablespoon, and then it's one point for two tablespoons. And that's as far as I've calculated it. So I don't know what the calculations are from there, but two tablespoons is a lot. Now I'm going to measure the things that actually have points. So that's one cup of low fat buttermilk and one tablespoon of honey.
two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, which doesn't have points, but I'm going to measure it anyway because I don't want to go all crazy with that. Then it's supposed to be an eighth of a cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. I'm going to just put in a good dollop. Because, of course, it's zero points. You know what? There's not a bunch left in here, so I'm just going to use the rest of this container. All right. And now, y'all, it's just good stuff. I mean, not that those aren't good stuff, but check this out. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I use this stone ground mustard, and I just put in a big old squeeze of that. Some garlic. Now, I'm almost out of the garlic in this one, so I'm going to use the rest of this garlic. That's probably a good tablespoon, and then maybe a little more. And y'all, you can use, you know I use that like big jar of minced garlic for just about everything? Well, I buy the fancy like, they call it minced, like the fancy pureed garlic for this because I just don't want chunks. You know, like the big thing has like the little sort of cubes, like the little dices of garlic. I just don't want pieces of garlic in my salad. Although I guess I really wouldn't be above it. So th that's really all that I use this for is the... I use the like the the mushed up minced garlic in this. So a good couple squeezes of that and then a good dollop of ginger. And same thing. I buy the squeezy tube of ginger. So I use squeezy ginger, squeezy garlic. So put in a good squeeze of garlic. Or sorry, ginger. We already put in the garlic. Put in a good squeeze of ginger. And then basil. And then just whir it up. That's all there is to it. So let me whir and then I'll be back. And that's it. We have dressing. Like I said, y'all, there's really not much to it. It's really good. It's a tiny bit sweet for my taste. So generally I make us, well, first of all, I mix this with the light Hidden Valley Ranch dressing and that's one point per tablespoon. So one tablespoon of this, one tablespoon of that mixed together is one point. That is a ton of dressing. And that makes a really good flavor. And this thins that dressing just enough. Cause if you look, hang on, let me show you. This one is a little bit thin, see? I don't know, can y'all see that? I don't know how to do this without making a huge mess. But it's just a little bit thin, so I mix it with that Hidden Valley Ranch. It thickens it up just a little bit, and it's really, really good. And, like I said, obviously, I use honey as a sweetener. This is kind of a bunch of points in this, so this, this along with the buttermilk are what give you the like one point for two tablespoons. If you want to knock the points out even more, you can use one of the zero calorie, zero point sweeteners, but I like the taste of honey and y'all I'm fine with one point for two tablespoons. So that's my dressing. And this really is the only dressing that I eat on a salad is this with the Hidden Valley Ranch or this with like some kind of vinaigrette dressing. So delicious. So anyway, there is literally nothing else to say about salad. So y'all, that's it. But tell me what it, you know, one thing I think I forgot is boiled eggs. I didn't even mention boiled eggs with my proteins because I got so excited about the chicken. So I say that to say, y'all know I forgot things. So let us know in the comments, what things do we need to remember in order to have healthy filling salads? Let us know in the comments. Y'all, thank you so, so much for hanging out with us. If you made it this far, we are most definitely friends. 
So go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the shenanigans. I upload food and fitness videos the beginning of every week with some book videos sprinkled in between. See you on the next one.